All right, least common multiple using the prime factorization method in combination with a Venn diagram. First of all, we need to look at what a least common multiple is. The word least means the lowest. Common means same, and uh, a multiple is when we take a whole number times a non-zero whole number, um, and the factor or the product of those two numbers will give us a multiple. So an example, some multiples of the number 2 would be uh, 2 times 1 equals 2, 2 times 1 equals 2. That is the product of a whole number times a non-zero whole number. 2 times 2 equals 4, 2 times 3 equals 6. These are all multiples, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and so forth. I'm going to use prime factorization and the Venn diagram to find the least common multiple. First, I need to you find the prime factorization of the number 9. So if we use a factor tree, 9 is the same as 3 times 3. That is my prime factorization. They're both prime numbers, uh, and I can write them in my Venn diagram, 3 times 3. All right, now I want to look at my second number, 6. I'm going to use the division ladder to find the prime factorization of this number. So I have 6 divided by 2 equals 3, and 3 divided by 3 equals 1. Now we don't want to use 1 because 1 we know is a special number. It's not prime or a composite. These two numbers are prime, 2 times 3, so write them on this side of your Venn diagram. Now we have to ask ourselves, are there any of these numbers that are common or they're the same? Yeah, we have a 3 here and a 3 here. So we're going to erase that common one and place it in the center of our Venn diagram because they share that number as a factor. Okay, now we take the remaining numbers and simply multiply them together. 3 times 3 is 9 times 2 is 18. The least common multiple of 9 and 6 is 18. Alright, well, I hope that helped you out. See you!